This is the Compromise by Koren Puzzle. Yeah, the same guy who designed the 22 by 22. What is this? Well, you see, Koren describes it on the page as a basic twisty puzzle, which doesn't help at all. It also doesn't help that no matter what angle you show this puzzle from, you can't really show a whole lot of it in a picture. Like you show this side, doesn't really help a lot. Show this, oh, that helps a ton. So basically, until you actually get to grips with this, it's kind of hard to think of what it actually is. But let me tell you now, this is a truncated triangular by pyramid. Truncated is where these gold stickers are, and triangular by pyramid is because it's essentially two triangles put on top of each other. And I guess it turns on the corners, because this would be a corner, and it turns on these corners. Um, you can see that this piece here kind of broke. That was actually a minute ago when I was recording the first take for me talking about this puzzle. And it's also why I decided not to record this part outside. Because these little pieces here, they're extremely prone to breaking. I mean, this is an example of what it looks like, basically. If you imagine this white isn't here. Extremely flimsy, extremely fragile, because basically nothing holds this part to this part. And that's why this piece uh, fell out. Not this one, the other one. That's why this fell out. I had previously glued it back in, you can see, but just because the initial area is so tiny, there really wasn't much of a point. And I don't ha really have the time right now to reprint another one of these pieces. So I think I'll just do the review, uh, knowing that this piece has been set off to the side. So back to topic. This is a corner turning triangular dipyramid. This would be a corner if the puzzle wasn't truncated, and it turns. So this puzzle has kind of two layers in each type of on each type of corner. Here's one, it turns. Here's another one, turns as well. And here's what would be another corner, um, and it does turn. like that. And then there's this puzzle that uh, cuts through in essentially its center and uh, you can indeed make this turn. So the premise seems kind of simple but I don't know how difficult it's actually going to be to solve. I don't even know if anyone solved it. I mean there really aren't any videos of anybody talking about it either. I mean Koren used to have a video um, on this puzzle but at some point, he deleted a lot of his old videos, with keeping only a few, meaning that the video that showed this puzzle in his own words is gone. So now I'll scramble and solve it, and after that's done, I'll give you the ratings for this puzzle. So that looks like a decent scramble to me. I know I did speed it up a bit. I'm sorry. I know there's a few people who ask that I don't speed up the scrambles. And I generally try not to, but this puzzle just doesn't turn well enough uh, for me to not speed up the scramble as it took quite a bit of time. So keeping in mind that this piece goes in here, I guess I'll uh, try and solve it.
Alright, finally, you can see that I've actually finished solving the tips as well as these top centers. They all match up on uh, all of the six sides. Alright, so you can see that these pieces all match. So really all I've got to, all I need to do now at this point is solve these kind of inner centers and uh, edges. This looks kind of like a weird pattern thing. All of these are together, they're just on the wrong piece. Alright, so that was actually easier than I expected. I'm starting to think this puzzle doesn't have all that many combinations that are possible. But anyway, so now the last thing to do is these tiny edges, keeping in mind that the one that fell out is the red and white one. And if I put this piece in, you can see that the puzzle is actually solved. So the steps were fairly straightforward. It wasn't as difficult as I expected, mostly because solving the different kinds of pieces didn't really affect the others. Like, after I had solved, uh, yeah, so I did take a bit of a wrong step. I should have solved the, these inner edges first. But if you solve it in the logical order, which is... And these edges, these tips, these centers, these edges, then solving each piece doesn't really affect the pieces you've previously solved, making this puzzle actually not all that difficult. Alright, now that I've solved it, it's time to give you the ratings. Printing this puzzle is pretty complex to be honest. Some of these pieces just have ridiculous shapes. And, fig and while there are orientations that have the least amount of supports, they still result in pieces that aren't structurally sound. All of this, all of this, and this, and this are pieces of this type that broke. Out of the original six pieces I printed for this puzzle, only two of them did not break while I was removing the supports. The other contender would be these center pieces, as uh, these, as they're actually pretty thin. So, because of this, I'm going to have to give this puzzle a seven. For post processing, this gets a two point five. There's not that many pieces. You do have to remove supports from most of them. And for some pieces that can be quite difficult, but the difficulty in that was factored into the earlier ease of printing uh, score. And the actual amount of work required, like removing the supports, it really isn't that much work as uh, you saw in the time lapse way back in the beginning of the video. So this gets a 2.5. For ease of assembly, this puzzle gets a 1, simply because it's about as basic as assembly could get. You put the pieces in the other pieces, and you make up a half, basically, Then you put the two halves together and screw them in. The one problem is that the screw screwing in is kind of a one-time chance, because... It, even if you do it twice or thrice, then 
the piece will just be too stripped out for the screw to actually latch in. I actually had to glue the screw in, and I didn't do it very well. So you can see that it's still kind of loose. And this did have negative effects on turning quality, which I'll discuss later. But this isn't the turning quality rating, this is the ease of assembly rating. And it is indeed very easy to assemble, assuming you don't take the screw in and out. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is turning quality. There's no suspense or anything. This does not get a rating. That's because I believe I did things during the assembly that make this puzzle turn badly. Such as gluing the screw in instead of properly screwing it in. And which goes back to the earlier point of this stripping way too easily. And also I use the screw that's much too long, meaning that this half can just come out like that, which it wouldn't be able to do otherwise. And you did see the solve. You saw that sometimes it was extremely difficult to make this turn. Yeah, that's mostly because of the misalignments. And I feel like that could have been prevented, which is why this doesn't get a score. Because I don't think it's fair, because some of the things that make this puzzle turn poorly were my were of my own doing. That being said, that doesn't excuse these pieces for being extremely easy to break. It does kind of impede turning when you have to be super careful with these so as to not put enough force to break them. Which let me tell you, isn't a lot of force. This puzzle isn't flawless. It has its issues which make it a bit difficult to assemble. But something that I might have not mentioned earlier is that I did not sand this thing at all. It's amazing how well it actually turns uh, despite that. It just and while it and while the tolerances do lead to this puzzle being a little bit difficult to turn, they're actually very well designed, and it just goes to show of how skilled a designer Corin actually is. Now, I'm sure that if this was printed on an SLS printer, the pieces wouldn't break apart, but. Most people who download this from Thingiverse do not have an SLS printer. As a result, I have to review it based on what I have here. And honestly, I don't dislike this puzzle. It was interesting to solve. It, it was definitely a new experience. And uh, if you can avoid making the mistakes I did, and just overall come out with a better result than this, then by all means go for it. This is a really interesting addition to anybody's collection. Something that would be cool actually would be to see a redesign of this to be a bit easier to assemble and maybe with these full triangle tips so that it's not a truncated die pyramid. But those are just some thoughts for the future. Thanks Corin for designing and posting it. It's actually a really cool puzzle and Despite all the issues, I actually enjoyed it. Enjoyed this entire process a lot. So thank you all for watching, and have a great night.